hello welcome back to my channel my name is Angie in today's session we're going to do a full body workout using the small weights I'm going to be using two pounds each and recommend between two and five pounds that is between one kilo and two and a half kilos you may replace these weights by using bottles of water or even cans from your pantry the idea of using small weights is to activate smaller muscles in our body that normally get overpowered by bigger muscles when we use heavier weights. So if you are ready, grab your weights and let's begin. We're going to start standing with our feet hip distance apart. Make sure your weight is in the center of your feet, your weights in your hands. Connect immediately your breath with your body lifting the pelvic floor and drawing your abs in. Feel the length through the spine. Think of a string pulling you from the ceiling, your weights by the sides. Inhale deeply, expanding your lungs. And as you exhale, draw your chin, feel the length in the back of your neck. Draw the sternum in, ribs in, belly button in. Roll down, opening the space between your vertebrae. Drop the weights, leave them on the floor. Inhale, expanding your lungs again like accordions. And exhale, start lifting from the base of your spine, leaving the weights on the mat, stacking up, bone by bone, all the way to standing. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, making sure your shoulders stay away from the ears. Bring the arms down, to the sides, inhale again. And as you exhale, roll down again, checking that your weight is between the center and the back of your feet, your pelvis in line with your feet, softening your knees. Reach your hands down, take the weights, inhale here, and exhale pulling in your abs to stack up your spine from the base all the way up. Now you brought your weights with you. The weights are going to remind us to keep the shoulders down away from the ears. We're going to inhale, lift the shoulders towards the ears, exhale, draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Think of the weight pulling your hands down towards the mat. At the same time, feel the shoulder blades drawing down and inwards towards the spine. So on your back, the shoulder blades are going up and then going down and inwards towards the spine. Three more, inhale as you lift the shoulders, exhale as you draw the shoulders away from the ears, drawing your shoulder blades in and down. And exhale again, down, inhale up, exhale, down. Now keep that sensation of your shoulder blades hugging you on your back. Inhale, lift right arm to the ceiling. Exhale, flex your torso. The weight on your left arm is pulling you down. The weight overhead is reaching towards this, the corner of the ceiling and your right foot is pressing down towards the mat to stretch your right side. Keep those abs in, the ribs in. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, lower the arm down. And we do the other side. Left arm up to the ceiling as you inhale. Exhale, flex from the torso, um, lifting, and then going over. Pressing your left foot down, lengthening your left side. Inhale, come back to the center, growing tall. Exhale, lower the hand down. Let's do two more each side. Inhale as you lift the arm, exhale as you go up and over, pressing again your right foot down to lengthen the whole side from the legs all the way to the arms, through the spine and through your side, your torso. Lower the arm down, inhale again, lifting, exhale, flex. Keeping the idea of moving between two panels of glass so your body is only moving to the sides. Keeping the ribs in, keeping the pelvis in line with your feet. 
good and keeping the length to the spine one more last side here and exhale keeping the collarbones wide and come back down good now we're going to warm up a little bit doing some squats moving the arms at the same time so keeping your feet slightly wider than your hips we're going to connect abdominals, glutes activated, keeping the ribs in and making sure when we bend the knees that we are keeping the weight towards the back and that we are keeping the tailbone heavy so we don't arch the lower back. So arms to the sides, inhale as we bend the knees to sit and reach the arms forward, exhale, lift. Inhale, bend, exhale, two making sure your abs are in, lengthening the spine, good, activating your glutes when you stand up, lifting the kneecaps and breathe in, good, shoulders away from the ears, two more, one more now we're going to bend the knees when we come up we lift the right leg and then lower and lift the leg the left leg and lower good keeping the alignment through the spine and lower. good abdominals are in collar bones are wide Good, two more. And one more, and stay. Now straight legs, long spine, palms facing back now. As we sit, we're going to pull the arms back. Inhale, bend, exhale. Pull your arms back as you stretch the legs. Inhale, bend, exhale. Two, opening the chest, exhale three, keeping the ribs in, exhale four, exhale five, keeping the weight towards the heels, keeping that tailbone heavy when you bend the knees so we don't arch the lower back. Good, two more. Keeping the knees, we don't go over the toes. And we stay. Now bend the knees slightly, open the collarbones, and pulse your arms back using the triceps here. And keeping those ribs in, keeping those abs in. Five, four, three. Feel the shoulder blades going in towards the spine. And one. And come up. We're going to do one more set of 10. Now bending the knees, when we come up, we reach the arms and reach the leg back and bend. Exhale, two, and bend. Exhale, three, and bend. We have the torso slightly um, hinged forward for this one. And three, two, lengthening through the spine and one and come back good now let's come to the end of your mat one more roll down to come on hands and knees on the mat so inhale here exhale drop the chin round your spine scoop in your belly soften the knees leave the weights on the mat place your hands on the mat gently bend the knees again and come on all fours on your mat. Make sure your shoulders are in line with your hands and your knees in line with the hips. We're going to mobilize the shoulder blades. So we want to keep the spine very long, abdominals engaged, and we're going to inhale, press gently with the arms on the mat to open the space between the shoulder blades without arching the spine. Exhale, we 
bring the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Inhale, push. Gliding the shoulder blades away from the spine is a very small movement, but the idea is to feel only the shoulder blades moving. Inhale, push. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades on your back. Inhale, push. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades on your back, making sure your spine remains very long. Two more. Inhale, push. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Inhale, push. Exhale, shoulder blades go in towards the spine. Come back to the neutral position. We're going to do a cat stretch now. Inhale first, exhale. You're going to drop the tailbone round your spine. From the tailbone, you start flexing your spine, drawing in your abs, dropping your head, gliding the shoulder blades away from the spine, reaching your back towards the ceiling. Inhale to start lengthening from the tailbone again, all the way to your head, opening the collarbones. Your gaze comes just slightly forward from the end of the mat, abs are in. Exhale, drop the tailbone again, round your spine, belly bottom in, push the mat away with your arms, reaching your back towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch. Inhale, lengthen the spine again from the tailbone, keeping this at the abs in, lengthening through your neck, good. Top of the head away from the tailbone. Three more, exhale, Flex your spine, reaching the back towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Sit bones out to the back wall, top of the head away from the tailbone. And exhale, round the spine again, dropping your tailbone, pressing with your arms on the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Good. Nice massage for the spine. Come back to this uh, neutral position, lengthening. And now you're going to place um, the weight, one of the weights between your knees and tuck the toes under. Push the mat away so we're not sinking in the shoulders. We're activating through the arms, connecting with the shoulders and the muscles under the armpits. Lengthen your spine, gaze slightly forward between your hands the mat. Inhale here, activate pelvic floor, deep abdominals. As you exhale, you're going to lift the knees off the mat just a couple of inches, squeezing your weight. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower the knees. Inhale here, exhale, lift the knees just a few inches off the mat, keeping everything very stable, keeping that spine very neutral, very long. Inhale here, exhale, come back down. Three more. Inhale again, exhale to lift. Abdominals are working here to lift the knees off the mat. Inhale, stay, exhale, lower, lengthening through the neck, keeping those shoulder blades very stable on your back. Inhale here, exhale, lift. Inhale, stay, exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale again. Exhale to lift. Lengthening through the spine. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale again. Exhale, lift. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower. Very nice. Come to a child pose. Weights on this side and breathe, drop your neck, relax the shoulders and relax the neck, move the wrists out and circle in. Stack up your spine and we're going to come sitting on the mat. Feet hip distance apart, your weight in your hands. If you feel in this position a little bit of tension in your uh, hips, you may use a block or a cushion to, uh, to sit 
on top. Make sure you have enough room at the back to roll down. So your weights in your hands, softening the elbows, shoulders away from the ears. Feet are heavy on the mat, keeping the alignment between the feet, the knees, and the hips. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, draw the abdominals in, curl the tailbone, and start rolling down. Good. C-shape on our back, gaze forward towards the weights. Inhale, stay, drawing the abdominals in and the shoulders down, exhale. Pull in your abs and roll forward, keeping the C-shape on your spine, keeping the, the gaze down towards the mat. Come to your seat bones. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, curl the tailbone and roll down. Good. Inhale, stay. Exhale, pulling in your abs. Think of your abs going towards the back and the head going forward as you roll back to your seat bones and then lengthen from the base of the spine all the way up. One more this way. Inhale again. Exhale, curl the tailbone and roll down lower back towards the mat gaze towards the weights inhale stay exhale pull in your abs keep that c shape on your spine keep the shoulders down and roll forward come to your seat bones and then lengthen the spine inhale here exhale roll down again now we stay for endurance maintain the abdominals in and we're going to move the arms. Inhale here, exhale, bend the elbows, bring the weights to your shoulders, keeping the C shape on your spine. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, come back. Exhale, four, your elbows are in line with the shoulders, okay? Exhale, six, keeping those abs in, keeping those feet flat on the mat, and keeping those shoulders down. Two more. And exhale. Good. Lengthen your arms. Inhale here. Exhale. Pull in the abs and roll forward, keeping that C shape on your spine. And then lengthen. Very nice. You're doing great. Let's continue. Inhale here, lengthening the spine, shoulders down. Exhale, curl the tailbone, half roll back. Abs are in, holding the weight of your torso. Now we inhale, open the arms, 45 degrees, and close. Inhale, open, exhale, two. Inhale, open, keeping those shoulders away from the ears, keeping that rib to hip connection, meaning your ribs are in, your belly bottom is in, and your lower abs are very engaged, working. Good, two more. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, stay, and exhale, Pull in the abs, roll forward again, and come back to the sitting position. One more set. Now, using the obliques, we're going to inhale. As you exhale, curl the tailbone, roll back, and swipe your arm back at the same time, twisting from the ribs. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, change sides, swiping your left arm, Inhale, come forward. Exhale, again, twisting from your waist, keeping the pelvis very stable, good, and breathing. Inhale to come forward, exhale to twist and swipe your arm back. Inhale forward, exhale again. Keeping that flexion as much as you can when you are swiping the arms. Good, keeping that connection through the abdominals. Good, two more each side. And lengthening, exhale, two, swipe and twist. Inhale to come back, one more each side. 
if the weights start getting heavy you can drop them and do it without so we stay here now we're going to roll all the way down to the mat inhale again exhale curl the tailbone lower back touches the mat and then mid back touches the mat upper back and last your shoulders and your head bend the knees place your weights on your shoulders inhale here drop the chin exhale you're going to flex and stretch your arms at the same time now here the idea is that when we lift the torso gliding the ribs towards your pelvis we are not changing the shape of the spine keep the spine neutral that means your normal curve of the lumbar is present here we don't want to smash the lower back on the mat when we lift if we do that we lose the connection of the abdominals the deep abdominals that we need to work keep your knees hip distance apart and let's do 10. inhale here dropping the chin exhale flex long arms inhale come back exhale two inhale come back exhale three glide in the ribs towards your pelvis exhale four exhale five keeping that pelvis very stable like you had a glass of water on your abs and you don't want to spill it exhale reach inhale come back exhale again lifting those shoulder blades off the mat and come back two more good one more and come back now keep the arms long you're going to gently contract your abdominals and lengthen your lower back on the mat that's the imprinted position so that your your lower back is supported slightly not smashing but just supported on the mat and bring the legs to tabletop one at a time inhale here bring the arms towards the ceiling legs are together remember you have a glass of water on your abs exhale flex and reach the arms down to the sides inhale come back exhale flex inhale come back keep in the tabletop position with your legs four and five we're going to do five keep the legs tabletop or you can straighten the legs and we're going to do the hundreds turn the palms up and we pulse in two three four five exhale two three four ten in two three four five exhale two three four twenty you may drop the weights at any time and keep pumping the arms from the shoulders thirty in two three four five exhale two three four forty you can bend the knees for 50 in two three four five lifting those knee caps exhale two three four sixty in two three four five exhale two three four seventy in two three four five exhale two three four eighty almost there four five exhale two three four ninety in two three four five exhale two three four hundred inhale stay abs are in very nice exhale come back bring the arms overhead and bring the knees to your chest take a little break stretch your abs and your lower back breathe deeply and come back to the tabletop position your glass of water is still on your abs and the lower back is supported on the mat arms to the ceiling inhale here as you exhale drop the arms to the sides and reach the leg lifting the kneecaps inhale come back exhale left inhale come back exhale right and back. exhale left keeping the pelvis very stable gliding the ribs towards your hips and exhale lifting the kneecaps reaching those toes to the front wall and keep going and five more 
four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to do 10 more, like a bicycle. Flexing, stretching the right leg. When we come back, stretch the leg. Exhale, two, inhale, come back. Exhale, three. Inhale, come back. We're challenging the stability of the pelvis by moving the legs this way. Good. And five. And come back. Bend both knees. And now we start with the left leg. Inhale again. Exhale. Reach the le left leg. And then come back, stretching the right. Exhale. Two. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Three, keeping those abs in and the shoulders always down. Remember the shoulder blades drawing in and down on your back. Bend both knees, bring the knees to your chest and ready to do the double leg stretch. Arms to the ceiling, legs tabletop. Inhale here as you exhale, flex the torso, reach the legs and the arms away from the center. Inhale, come back. Exhale, two. Inhale, come back. Exhale, three. Circle the arms slightly and bring the waist towards the knees. Exhale, four. And keep breathing. Abs are in. Good. You can leave your head on the mat if, if it gets a little bit challenging and focus on moving the arms and moving the legs. Three more. It's about keeping the stability of your pelvis and the abdominals engaged. Good, one more. And come back, very nice. You're doing great. Hug your knees again and bring the feet down towards the mat. And we're going to do some hip rolls to massage your spine and stretch the front of your body after these abdominals and uh, hip flexors work. So inhale here, open your shoulders. Your shoulders are heavy on the mat, lengthening your neck. Arms are heavy on the mat. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, feel the lower back touching the mat, and then start lifting one bone at a time. Come to the bridge long line between the shoulders and the knees. The knees want to touch the front wall. Inhale here and exhale to start melting from the sternum. One bone at a time, touching down, emphasizing the length through the lower back. Then your tailbone last. Let's do two more, articulating. Inhale again, exhale. Curl the tailbone and lift. Feel the opening in the front of your hips. As I was saying, we were working the legs and using the hip flexors a little bit ago. So it's a nice stretch here. Inhale here, exhale to melt the spine down. Again, one bone at a time. Scoop in your belly, lower back touches the mat and last your tailbone. And one more time, feet are heavy on the mat, your knees are hip distance apart, collarbones are wide, and then lift. Inhale here, and exhale. Taking the time to feel one bone at a time, coming down towards the mat. Good. Now take the weights again in your hands. Bring the legs to tabletop, making sure your lower back is supported and your deep abdominals are supporting this connection. Bring the arms again to the ceiling in line with the shoulders. Inhale here as you exhale, right leg and right arm overhead. Inhale, come back. Exhale two, five times. Exhale three, keeping that torso very stable, four and five. Now the left side, left arm, left leg, two, 
three, four. This is a uh, ipsilateral work. Same arm, same leg. Activate different muscles when we do the contralateral that we're going to do right now. Right arm, left leg, away from the center, and then back. Two, three, watching the range of your shoulder. You are in control of the weight. If it gets too heavy, you may drop the weight. And now the opposite side, reaching and coming back. Two, keeping that pelvis very stable. Shoulders away from the ears. Two more. Good. And back. Now reach the legs up to the ceiling making sure that connection of the abdominals is there with your spine, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to open the legs and the arms. I'm going to move so you can see the angle a little bit better. Open legs and arms in alignment here. Open away from the midline and then come back to the midline. Inhale to open, exhale to close, hip distance apart. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. In alignment, away from the midline, exhale to come back. You may soften the knees, you may even bend the knees slightly if you feel that the, the lever is too long, too heavy. Good, and come back. Three more, inhale, open. Exhale, come back. We do the movements slowly to make sure we're connecting the right muscles, keeping the stability. And one more, open, and come back to the center. Good, bend the knees, bring them to your chest, and rock from side to side. Good, bring the weights down. We're going to turn to the side to support your head with your bottom arm, or you may place a cushion or a block. The idea is that your head is in line with the rest of your spine. You're going to place one weight between your thighs. So bring the bottom shoulder down towards the hips a little bit to make sure you're not collapsing on the mat. We are activated here, long torso, abs in, glutes engaged, hips in line with each other, and we're going to stretch the legs. Inhale here, as we exhale, we're going to lift and lengthen both legs and lower. Exhale two and lower. Exhale three, it's lengthening. You are squeezing the weight between your thighs, keeping the gaze to the horizon and thinking of moving between two panels of glass. We're not moving forward or back, we're moving only up and down very slightly, emphasizing the length. Good. And we have three more. Three, using the obliques here. Two, and one. And keep the legs up for five, four, activating those legs. Three, two, and one. And lower the legs down. Bend the top leg behind the bottom leg keeping the pelvis squared to the front as much as possible. And the top leg is coming forward, just a little bit angled towards the corner of the mat. Place the weight on your um, inner thigh, and we're going to lift the bottom leg and lower. So the weight is just to give us a little more awareness of activating the inner thigh to lift the leg. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, keeping the length through the spine, abdominals engaged. And four, and down. Exhale to lift, and inhale to lower. And we have five more. Four, three, lengthening that leg. Two, and one, and stay, reaching the leg, and we do small pulses. Five, four, three, feeling that inner thigh. Two, and one, and lower the leg down. 
It doesn't take too much when we connect with the right muscles. Very nice. Now we're going to come to a low side plank, support on the forearm. Make sure your elbow is in line with the shoulder. Draw the shoulder back, lifting yourself away from the mat. Very strong forearm. Pelvis in alignment, bending the knees, one on top of the other, and the weight in your hand. Your elbow by the hips. Inhale here, lengthening the spine. Exhale, you're going to lift the pelvis using your obliques here and lift the arm, rotating the shoulder out. Inhale to come back. Exhale, two. Inhale, come back. Exhale, three. Lengthening your neck. If you feel any tension, you may look down towards the mat and keep the length through the neck and through the spine as you lift and lower. Exhale. 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 Two more. Lifting, lengthening, pressing away. Now we stay. Lengthen the top leg. And as you lift the leg, lift the arm to the ceiling and lower. And lift and lower. Connect it through your abs, activate it through the glutes, keeping that pelvis square to the front. And reaching the arm. Good. Two more. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Now we stay up, lower the leg, inhale here. As you exhale, you are going to twist and bring the weight under your right arm. Inhale to come back to the ceiling. And then two, we're going to do five of these, three, four, and one more, five. And gently bring the hips down, arm down, come and sit with the legs together and let's do a side stretch to the opposite side, towards your left side. Pressing your right hip down towards the mat, opening the chest, reaching the arm. As you reach the arm, to the left, make sure your shoulder is drawing down on your back. Inhale, reach arm to the ceiling and exhale over the hand down. That felt good, didn't it? Let's change sides. So find your alignment, bottom arm or the block or the cushion supporting your head, making sure your bottom shoulder is drawing down towards the hip. You have space under your torso and the mat, bending the knees, bring the weight between your thighs and lengthen. Now we have a glass of water on top of our hip here. Top hand can be in front to help with support. If you want to challenge, you can place the hand on the side. The idea is to lift and lower and lift and maintain the balance. Our pelvis very stable. We resist the tendency to roll forward or back, and then lift and lower. And lift. When you lift, you think of lengthening and lower. And lift, abs are in, inner thighs connected. And lift and lower. Three more. Lift and lengthen and lower. Lift and lengthen. Good. One more. Stay. Count five, four, three, two, and one. And lower the legs down. Good. Bend the knees. Top leg is going to be bent, open towards the ceiling, and the bottom leg long towards the corner of the mat. Pelvis as square as possible to the front. We activate the deep abdominals, that corset that I always 
mentioned in my classes. Shoulders are in line with each other. The weight on your inner thigh. Inhale here, exhale, lift, and inhale lower. Exhale, two, lengthening the leg and connecting with your inner thigh to lift against the, the weight, good, and lengthening at the same time. And lower, keep breathing. Two more, one, and two, and stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. And lower the leg down. Good. Now come to the lower side plank. Make sure again your elbow and the shoulder are in line. Push the mat away, activating lats, activating your abdominals here. Lengthen your spine and your weight in the top arm towards your body. When we lift the pelvis, we rotate the shoulder. Inhale, come back. Exhale, two. Inhale, down. Exhale, three. Exhale, four. Pressing away from the mat. Five, using those obliques, using your glutes, using your inner thighs. Everything is working to lift and maintain the alignment. Good. And three more. Lift. Good. Two. And one. And stay. Push the mat away, lengthen the top leg, and from here, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, lengthening, and lower. Inhale again, lift, lengthening your neck. You may look down towards the mat and lower, keeping those abs engaged, keeping those glutes engaged. Good, making sure you are in control. Lengthening, two, and one. From here, now we do the rotation. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, come back. Keeping those obliques very strong. Pushing away from the mat with your forearm. Three. Four, and one more. Five, good. Then we come down, hip down, bring the knees together, sit, and then reach the arm overhead, lengthening the spine. Exhale to flex, pressing your left hip down towards the mat, and breathe. Inhale. Come back, reaching the arm to the ceiling and the top of the head to the ceiling. Exhale, lower the hand down. Very nice. Now come on your stomach, on the mat. Keep the weights on the side. I'm going to move to the other side. Since I have more room to move my arms. So you're going to be on your stomach. Make sure you open the legs from your hips out as wide as the mat, activate your muscles, your leg muscles, and gently press the pubic bone on the mat, lifting your belly bottom. You may use a cushion or a roll up towel to support your forehead on the mat, and you're going to place your hands long by the sides, palms facing up, holding your weights. We're going to work on back extension, inhale, draw the shoulders down, exhale, lift, the torso off the mat, just the sternum, reaching those weights towards the feet. Inhale, stay, reaching, lengthening, pressing your pubic bone on the mat, lifting the navel from the mat. Exhale, come back down. Inhale again to draw the shoulders down. Exhale to lift. Using your upper back muscles, you lift like an airplane taking off. Feel the length through the spine, top of the head, away from the tailbone. Inhale, exhale, come back. 
down. And let's do three more. Inhale again, draw the shoulders blades in and down, lengthen those legs, exhale to take off, lifting and lengthening. And your hands are hovering off the mat. Inhale here, exhale, come back, down. Two more. Inhale again, exhale to lift, feel the length through the spine. Inhale here, exhale, come back to the mat. One more and we're going to stay. Inhale again, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, take off like an airplane, lift in the arms. You may drop the weights anytime if you need to. And we're going to do pulses, holding the back extension here. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Two, three, four. Feel the shoulder blades squeezing in towards the back, opening the collar bones and lengthening the neck. Two, and one. And stay, lengthen, exhale, come back, down. Very nice. Now bring the arms forward, bending the elbows. Keep that connection through the abdominals so that the belly bottom is off the mat and the pubic bone is heavy. So we're lengthening the lower back. Active through the legs. Inhale here. As you exhale, lift the torso and lift the arms off the mat. Inhale, open the arms to the sides. Exhale, bring the arms down to the hips. Inhale, open the arms to the sides. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, open, wide. Exhale, lift. Inhale, come back. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, lift the torso as you reach the arms towards the feet. Inhale, open. Exhale, bend the elbows. And again, open. Exhale, lift, lengthening through the spine, keeping that connection through the abs. Good. And two more. Inhale, open, wide. Exhale, reach the arms down. Feel the activation of the muscles under your arms when you do this movement and then open, exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, open, exhale, lift. Inhale, open again, exhale, bend. Come back to the mat and come to a child pose. Nice stretch for your lower back and through the whole back, through your shoulders, through the arms. Draw the abdominals in, belly bottom in, pressing gently your tailbone towards the heels. And keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. With your next inhale, stack up your spine. And we're going to finish the same way we started. Standing, take the weights with you. We're going to do some plies. So you're going to open from the hips, open the legs, pointing the toes out, making sure that your knees are in line with the second toe. And from here, keeping the alignment through the spine, tailbone is pointing down towards the mat. We don't want to arch the back or lean forward. We try to stay as long as we can. The range can be small. We don't have to go too far down as long as we keep the length through the spine and uh, the stability of the pelvis squared to the front, abs engaged, glutes engaged. Inhale to bend, bend the knees, arms out to the sides, exhale, come up, bend in the elbows, bring the weights to the shoulders. Inhale down, exhale, two. Inhale down, exhale, three. Think of activating those glutes and the inner thighs when you come up. Good. Keep the elbows in line with the shoulders. Five more. Four, lengthening through the neck. Three, shoulders away from the ears. Two, squeezing those glutes when you come up. And one. Now come back down and we work the arms only. Five, four, three, 
strong legs. Two and one. Keep the elbows long. Now bend and we go up and down. And up and two. And up and three. Good. Four. Five. Five more. Keeping those abs engaged to maintain the alignment and keeping those legs strong. Two more. One more. Good. Bring the arms down, legs straight. Close the legs. Hip distance. Bend the knees from side to side. Bend the hips. Good. Now soften the knees, slightly bend. Bring the weights in front of each other, next to each other in front of the chest. Open the arms, softening the elbows. Keep that connection through the abdominals. Keep the tailbone heavy. Hinge forward just slightly. Inhale here as you exhale. Twist to the right and then back to the center. Twist to the left and back to the center. And again to the right back to the center. Twisting from the ribs, keeping the pelvis square to the front. Good. And keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders, making sure the shoulders don't come up towards the ears. Good. And twist. And two more each side. Good. One. And one. Good. Now we're going to inhale to bend, exhale to lengthen. Inhale to bend, exhale, lengthen, bring the arms down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now to the ceiling. One, two, three, four. We're changing the weight from one foot to the other. Working on stability. Good. Two more. One more. And come back. And lengthen your spine. Inhale here. Opening the chest, exhale, drop the chin, round your spine. We're going to finish the same way we started. Rolling down, leaving the weights on the mat. Inhale again, exhale, roll up from the base of the spine. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms, reaching the head towards the ceiling. Inhale one more time, arms to the ceiling, exhale. Now you roll down, keeping the arms long in front of you. Think of going over an electric wire. You want to round, round, round your spine. Reach down towards the mat. Good, bend the end knees, soften the knees, and bend one knee and the other, and bend the hips from side to side. Five, four, three, two and one back to the center rotate your spine towards the right bend the left knee good and breathe three two and one back to the center exhale to the left rotating from the waist bend the right knee and five four three two and one back again to the center inhale here exhale roll all the way up arms to the ceiling flex to the left inhale lengthen exhale to the right inhale come back one last big 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 inhale exhale arms pressing down lengthening through the spine Big circles with the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're done. Move like a wave. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Let me know. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you.